Okay, so congratulations. You've just got your ACE site. You're anxious to get it out of the box. Uh, so am I. So here is an ACE site box. Um, I'm going to remove the lid. Just place that over here out of the way. And uh, inside we have our little packet of information. It has a user guide. There's also a quick, a quick guide which will include all of the kind of the basic things that you need to know in terms of things like changing the zoom level, uh, changing the contrast, that sort of thing. So I'll just place that on the table there for right now. Take out our carry case. I don't actually need the, uh, the base of the box. So I'm just going to unzip the, the case. And uh, inside, uh, by the way, you will find the serial number of the device on the inside of the carry case. Uh, it was also, just for the record, on the outside of the main box as well. So if you ever have to call for support and you're asked for the, t the serial number, that's where you'll find it. Um, okay, so inside the carry case, I have three things. I have the, the A-Sight headset. We're going to look at that in just a moment. Uh, it is, of course, tethered to the controller. Um, the controller is where you would, would find the battery. So there's a charging port on the left there. We'll get to that in a moment, but that's how we would charge the device. And then the third and final thing that's inside here is the AC adapter. So the AC adapter, plug one end into the wall, the other end into the side of your controller, and that's how you would fully charge a site. You can, if you wish, assuming that you're in one place and not moving, uh, you could keep it plugged in uh, to the electric uh, connection all the time, and then your device is always fully charged for whenever you're going out. So we don't need the adapter for just now. I'm going to put that out of the way. And so here then is the a site device. So in terms of what we're looking at, so I'm holding the device with the front of a site looking at me. Uh, the camera is directly in the middle. It would be above the bridge of your nose when you're wearing the device. There are some buttons along the top. The one in the middle has no purpose at this time. The one on the, well, my left, but it would be the right-hand side of the device, allows us to increase the brightness of the displays. The one on the left will allow us to dim the brightness. The system ships from the factory with maximum brightness set. And for most people, you shouldn't have to change it. There are two knobs along the front left and right corner of a site. These are used for adjusting the interpupillary distance. What that means, and we'll, we'll do a close-up in just a moment, but as I adjust either of the two knobs, the display that is inside the visor is moving to the left or the right. And the purpose of this is to line the display with the center of my vision for each eye. But more about that in a moment. Uh, on the uh, back edge of a site, we have a ridged dial. And as I turn it to the left to loosen it, you can hear it clicking. So this is now expanding a site. So if I go all the way to the end, I would say the a site expands by just under two inches in length. Uh, there are, if I turn it upside down just a moment, there is some padding along the front edge of a site and also some padding at the back. The padding at the front when you're wearing a site should always be above the eyebrow area of the forehead. Um, that usually is, is a good starting point. The back of the display uh, should then be below the middle part of the back of your head. Now, I, my head's pretty big, so you, you, I don't have to have it completely open, but, uh, but once I've kind of tightened it a little bit, my A site is going to be maybe open by about an inch. But that fit is comfortable for me, and that's what we're aiming for. If you happen to have a small head, and certainly there are some of us that do, uh, we also have a Velcroed um, a head strap. This can be removed altogether if you want, but it does serve two purposes. One is that if you do have a small head, let's say that a site is as small as it possibly can go and it's still not fitting completely tightly, then adjusting the head strap to provide support on top of your head will, will help with that. But again, if it gets in the way, you just don't like it, don't care for it, remove it. In terms of the controller, uh, the, the most important thing when you first get a site out of the box is the on-off button, which is the blue button on the right-hand side. 
we press this button and hold it down and the system will come on. If it's the very first time that you've used a site, uh, you may be prompted to adjust the IPD, again, the interpupillary distance, before you can proceed. But once you've done that, you're good to go. Everything starts working immediately. Everything that you are looking at is displayed on both of the displays, so it's mirroring the image for each eye. And you're able to zoom in and out. You can change to a high contrast mode if you want. Uh, most important of all, is remembering the, the button at the very bottom. Uh, this button always takes us back to normal color without any adjustments to the screen. There's no outlining, no high contrast. It's just normal color. So you just press that button once to get there. You're good to go. You zoom in and zoom out. It's just a plus button and a minus button. Press the plus button or keep it pressed down if you want to go quickly through the zoom levels. And you can move very fast between 1x and 15x. And that's it. A-Sight, the electronic glasses that help visually impaired people regain visual independence.